Greetings, YouTube. Um, thing I want to talk about today is um, at will employment and um, how many states actually, there's a lot of states that have uh, at will employment. What that means is basically an employee, or I mean, an employer can fire you for any reason. Doesn't actually, doesn't even have to have a reason to fire you. Can just say, hey, Joe, you're fired. Well, why? I do my job every day. And... Oh, you're fired. I don't need a reason. This was legislation came up, and a lot of states adopted it. Some states have modified it so that they actually have a thing called wrongful discharge. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I was a victim of this. And I don't think it was right. And the law makes it very impossible when you have a wrongful discharge to fight this kind of case. So what I'm asking for everybody that's been wrongfully discharged out there, company can't make ends meet anymore, that's not your fault. That's their fault. Um, I'm not going to talk about the case. I'm not going to talk about what really happened to me, but um, not at this time, anyways. But essentially, um, we'll, we'll give a synopsis. I was assaulted at my workplace, and then I was terminated. That's pretty much. I'm not going to get into detail about it, but that the, gave my employer the at will in order to be able to terminate me at their leisure. And I endured, I, I was a victim here. So, um, I guess this video is about the economy. The economy is going down the crapper. We all know this. And no longer can that slime bucket in Washington, D.C. blame it on the other slime bucket that was in Washington, D.C., not too long ago. I'm sick and tired of the blame game. So I would ask that people that are uh, rallying, sorry about this, I'm just trying to get a good angle in the camera. I would ask everybody that is, you know, rallying in a tea party to also think about their employment and think about the security because inept if you don't have a contract with your employer you have no job security you could be doing a wonderful job and you have no job security um, so I would ask that people start standing up to situations like this don't just bow down because the economy it's very important because the economy is at such a bad pace right now that employers are abusing employees by the dozens. I know this. They're either you do it or we'll fire you and get somebody else to do it for you. So I'm asking each and every one of you, if you've been fired or if you've been, you know, laid off for no reason, um, I think that a petition or maybe talking to your state representative to introduce a bill in a state in your state maybe uh, state of Michigan we we definitely uh, don't have um, anything that you know any modifications for wrongful discharge or anything like that but a lot of good people have been fired from their job. I mean, we're talking about people maybe that have worked at their company for 30, 40 years. All of a sudden, they're fired. And then people are talking about retraining these people and getting them ready for the technical workforce. These people don't want to be retrained. They know what they know best because they have 40 years of experience. It's not right to let employers get away with a simple, I can terminate you at any time, even if I don't like you. I don't like the way your eyes look. I don't like the way your nose looks. I don't like the way you wear your hair. Um, I don't like the questions that you ask. It's slavery, more or less. 
and I'm asking everybody on YouTube to take a look at this video, even if you're not unemployed, to think about things, to think about what your employer might be actually doing to you, adding to your workload, because they can, not paying you more for that additional work. It's a shame. It's a real shame. And I'm just trying to make a point here, and I know sometimes I babble around, but the unemployment, there is basically no laws to protect the employee. There's all kinds of laws to protect an employer. But there are, apps, there are very few laws, like the Whistleblowers Act, that protects employees. Um, there, but that's probably about all that protect the employees. We need to rally up to the legislation, Senates, uh, uh, senators that you have locally in your state, um, you know, to the Congress and House that you have in your state to say, look, we're not going to take this anymore. Employees need equal rights to the employers, plain and simple, so that we can feel good, we can feel secure, and we can feel like we're treated appropriately every day we go to work. So, anyways, there's some things to think about. I hope everybody's doing well out there. I'd like to uh, thank my subscribers um, for joining my channel. I know I haven't put out a lot of videos uh, because I was really, really busy at the beginning of the year, and now I have plenty of time to put up videos. So, anyways, I um, hope everything is well with you guys, and look forward to doing some more videos. Take care from the Carter Hour. See ya.